वेलकम टू स्पेशल एजुकेशन विद हामिद नकवी पिछली वीडियो में हमने एक सिलसिला शुरू किया था वाइवा मेड इजी फॉर स्पेशल एजुकेटर्स इसमें हमने वो कैंडिडेट्स जो यूनिवर्सिटी या पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन के इम्तहान में स्पेशल एजुकेशन के इंटरव्यू की तैयारी कर रहे हैं उनकी मदद के लिए कुछ सवाल मंतखब किए थे और उनके मुख्तसर जवाब दिए थे ये सिलसिला हम जारी रखेंगे आज भी और आज इसका पार्ट टू है इसमें हम स्पेशल एजुकेशन की ब्रांच आर्डियालोजी और आर्डियोमीट्री के से कुछ मंतखब सवाल और उनके मुख्तसर जवाब देंगे आइए शुरू करते हैं पहला सवाल है वट इज साउंड साउंड इज अ परसेप्शन ऑफ प्रेशर वेव्स जनरेटेड बाय वाइब्रेटिंग एयर मॉलिक्यूल्स आई रिपीट साउंड इज अ परसेप्शन ऑफ प्रेशर वेव्स जनरेटेड बाय वाइब्रेटिंग एयर मॉलिक्यूल्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट आर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स उबलीग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ साउंड नंबर वन फ्रीक्वेंसी उबलीग पिच नंबर टू इंटेंसिटी उबलीग लाउडनेस एंड नंबर थ्री टेम्बर उबलीग क्वालिटी रिपीट कर रहा हूं फिर फ्रीक्वेंसी इंटेंसिटी और टेम्बर जिसको हम पिच लाउडनेस और क्वालिटी भी कह सकते What is frequency oblique pitch? Frequency it is a number of cycles per seconds and is measured by hertz. Pitch it is a subjective sensation produced by frequency of sound. Repeat kar raha hu ji. Frequency it is a number of cycles per seconds. and is measured by hertz pitch it is subjective sensation produced by frequency of sound next question ji what is intensity oblique loudness intensity is the strength of sound which determines its loudness and is measured in decibels loudness it is subjective sensation produced by intensity fir se dohra dete hain intensity it is the strength of sound which determines the loudness and is measured in decibels loudness is subjective sensation produced by intensity next question ji what is timbre Sound quality or timbre describes those characteristics of sound which allow the ear to distinguish sounds which have the same pitch and loudness. Timbre repeat कर रहे हैं. Sound quality or timbre describes those characteristics of sound which allow the ear to distinguish sounds which have the same pitch and loudness. Next question: What is audiometry? Audiometry is a branch of audiology and the science of measuring hearing acuity for variation in sound intensity and pitch, and for tonal purity involving thresholds and differing frequencies. Repeat, कर रहा हूँ जी. Audiometry is a branch of audiology. and the science of measuring hearing acuity for variation in sound intensity and pitch and for tonal purity involving thresholds and differing frequencies or what is an audiometer an audiometer is a subjective device that is used to evaluate the hearing thresholds of a person repeat kar raha hu ji an audiometer is a subjective device that is used to evaluate the hearing threshold of a person what is tympanometry what is tympanometry 
Impanometry can help diagnose disorders that can lead to hearing loss, especially in children. The test measures the movement of your tympanic membranes in response to changes in pressure. The tympanic membrane is a thin tissue that separates the middle and outer segment of the ear. Khan ka parda ji. Tympanic uh, uh, membrane is a thin tissue that separates the middle and outer segment of the ear. What is the difference between audiometry and tympanometry? Otitis media with effusion is the most common cause of fluctuating hearing loss in children. Peotone audiometry is the current mandated standard to determine hearing loss. Tympanometry, which assesses middle ear status, is used to detect hidden otitis media with effusion. Repeat Karamji. Otitis media with effusion is the most common cause of fluctuating hearing loss in uh, children. Pure tone audiometry is the current mandated standard to determine the hearing loss. Tympanometry, which assesses middle ear status, is used to detect hidden otitis media with effusion. What is audiogram? The audiogram is a graph that shows the results of a hearing test. It shows how well you hear sounds in terms of frequency and intensity. Repeat Karamji. The audiogram is a graph that shows the results of a hearing test. It shows how well you hear sounds in terms of frequency and intensity. What is audiometry training? Audiometry training refers to the process involved in improving the audiometry skills of individuals with hearing loss through structured and repetitive listening exercises. Repeat. Audiometry training refers to the process involved in improving the auditory skills of individuals with hearing loss through structured and repetitive listening exercises. What are the components of hearing aid? Microphone, processor amplifier, and receiver. Microphone, processor amplifier, or receiver. What are various types of hearing aids? Body-worn hearing aid, post-oral behind the ear, hearing, uh, hearing aid, in the ear hearing aid, in the canal hearing aid, and I glasses hearing aid. Repeat G. Body worn hearing aid, post oral behind the ear hearing aid, in the ear hearing aid, in the canal hearing aid, and I glasses hearing aid. What is the difference between air conduction and bone conduction? A RNA test evaluates hearing loss by comparing air conduction to bone conduction. Air conduction hearing occurs through air, air near the ear and involves the ear canal and eardrum. Bone conduction hearing occurs through vibration picked up by the ear's specialized nervous system. Repeat G. A RNA test evaluates hearing loss by com uh, comparing air conduction to bone conduction. Air conduction hearing occurs through air near the ear and it involves the ear canal and eardrum. Bone conduction hearing occurs through vibration picked up by ear's specialized nervous system. Next question, what is the most common type of hearing loss? Sensory, conductive, mixed or single-sided? Sensory neural hearing loss, this is the most common type of hearing loss which results when the inner ear becomes less efficient in transmitting sound to the brain for processing. It usually results from damage to cochlea, the hair cells inside and or the auditory nerve. 
Next question, what is the maximum threshold of safe listing? 45 dB, 65 dB, 85 dB, 106 dB. Question is, what is the maximum threshold for safe listening? And the answer is 85 dB. Listening to noises of 85 dB or greater for extended period of time can cause lasting damage to your hearing. Next question is, what is the top cause of hearing loss? Number one, exposure to loud noise, diabetes, genetics, side effects from medication. What is the top cause of hearing loss? Answer is exposure to loud noise. Whether in your occupation or recreational activities, exposure to loud noise for extended period is the most common cause of hearing loss. Thank you very much, Ji. Is ke saath hum apne second part jo hum interview ki tiyari karwa rahe hain, usko ekhtatam ko pohnchte hain hum. Inshallah, jaldi hum part three upload karenge, jisme hum aapko mazid sawal jawab special education ke awale se batayenge. अगर आपको पसंद आया है तो लाइक करें, शेयर करें और अगर आप पहली दफा ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं तो आप सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन पे प्रेस करें ताकि आपको नई आने वाली वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन फौरन से मिल जाए।